This morning with your finger of love. Yes, sir. Yes, and our did. eyes came open to behold another brand new Sabbath day. A day that we have never seen before. Our Heavenly Father, we come on a pleading terms of new mercy. Praying for the names that are on our prayer list and prayer board. Yes, Please, sir, have mercy. We call on you in time past, some of us, and you've heard and answered our prayer. Yes. Oh, Lord, thank you. You're the same God today, thank yesterday, you, and forever. Thank you, God. Hear yes. an answer prayer. You say, I'm the Lord thy God, and I change not. We call on you, Lord, your compassion. Oh, we call on you, Master. Please, sir, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy, our Lord. Some medicine have is mercy. not doing any good. But you're a doctor who have never lost a case. Yes, Please, sir, have mercy. Look upon our community. Look upon those who are in convalescent homes. Yes, God, have mercy. Having nobody to come see her about yes, them. Heart fix a mind regulator. Yes, we call on you because there's no other God but you and you alone. Yes, Lord. Thou who sit high and you look low. We call on you because you're compassionate. Yes, yes, God. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Mercy, God. You have not left us alone. Yes. Yes. Through our dark days and dark periods, you were there to yes, bring us out yes. more than conquerors. Yes, Lord. We call on you in behalf of the names on our prayer list and prayer board. Please, sir, have mercy. Yes, Some are hurting so bad right now, Lord. Lord. Oh, please, Sir Master, please, sir. would you touch their bodies? Yes, you know where the pain goes. You know where the pain comes. Yes, yes, God, God. Look God. upon those who are facing operations, yes, the doctor's God. knife. Yes, Guide the mind of the doctor yes, and his hand that they will have a successful operation and a speedy recovery. Yes, Look upon this nation, Lord. We need you from the White House yes, to the Poor House. Look upon the homeless tonight. Look upon Oakland, Lord. We need you in Oakland. Yes, we need you in San Francisco, Richmond. Look upon our young people, Lord. Yes, have mercy. Have mercy. We need you, Lord. Yes, yes, God. We can't get along without you. When we got up this morning, we needed you. At the noonday hour, we need you. Right now, we need you. Look upon those who are just walking by. Lord, let them know that their house is on fire. 
before it's everlasting too late. Now, Master, when this life journey comes to an end, be with us. Yes. Hold us by your mighty power. Yes, God. Thank you for keeping us. Yes. Thank you for holding us. Thank you, God. Oh, bless your holy name yes. for, for beds that we are sleeping in, houses, roof over our heads. Thank you, God. Some are sleeping in tents. And we thank you, Lord, for electricity. Central heating, Lord. Some don't have that. Some don't have hardwood floors. The ground is their, their floor. Please, sir, have mercy. We pray thee. And our Heavenly Father, when this life journey comes to an end, we, too, like others, must quit this walk of life yes. to study war no more. We yonder where every day will be Sunday. Yes, yes. Sabbath will have no end. And after this matter, you said, pray ye our Father, Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Do Lord, do Lord, do remember me, Lord, do Lord.
Sometimes the Lord allowed things to come in our lives uh -huh. to make us strong. Yes. Right. And He grows us up. Yes, yes, He does. Yes, he by does. allowing challenges to come. Yes. Job was tested. But one thing about it, he said, though you slay me, yet will I trust you. Yes. One thing about Job, he trusted God yes. that he was doing the right thing. Yes. Though you slay me, I'll still serve you. It's only a test.
choir directors leading this song with the choir. You know, I went through school and got my two BA degrees at UC Berkeley and got my master, one of my masters from San Jose State University and I got another master's from Golden Gate Baptist Theological Seminary. Amen. Got one of my doctoral degrees from Gold, uh, Northland International University right. in Dunbar, Wisconsin. And the other uh, doctoral degree I received uh, from Indiana Trinity University. And <laughs> All I'm saying is, sometimes you look back and say, how did, how did I do that? Yeah, yeah. How, how, how did I, how, how did I achieve? Yeah, never stop preaching. What, what? Yeah, and I did never stop preaching, never stop teaching. No, right. Never stop coaching, never right. stop right. teaching school, great papers. How, how, did, how did I do that? Uh, and then this song fits right in with our present day thought pattern. Yeah. Somehow I made it. Somehow. Yeah. yeah I don't, but God. Yeah. yeah. There was footsteps in the sand, but it wasn't mine, it was his. Right. Somehow I made it. All right, led by our choir director, Sister Patrice. Yeah, she did a good job this morning. Yeah. Sing out your soul. All right, choirs. Somehow.
But God brought us through. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I hear it? Girl, you can pick it up there, daughter, where he says heartaches and pains. Yeah. Come on, let's go, choirs. Heartaches and pains. Heartaches and pains. chapter and verse 28. Acts the 16th chapter and verse 28. But Paul cried with a loud voice saying, do yourself no harm. All right. For we are all here. Yes. The subject tonight. Did you know that thir over thirteen, uh, over thirteen lives, souls, out of one hundred thousand. Per, per 100,000 committed suicide. Mm -hmm. uh, they recorded, that's just a recording, mm -hmm. 2020. That is absolutely nothing to play with. No, no. no sir. Satan will. Play with your mind. Yes, you will. If you let him. Amen. The subject tonight is suicide mm -hmm. is a dead end street. Yes, Amen. It's a dead end street. Yes, Amen. There is absolutely no cause or reason why any living soul, human being, should kill themselves. Amen. You may be seated. By the Lord, sir. All right. Right, man. Dead in the streets. 
one of the Ten Commandments precisely, unequivocally, which is the Sixth Commandment, says and it forbids direct, directly and uh, it says forbidding direct and intentional killing. It is gravely sinful. Mm -hmm. right. The murderer and those who cooperate voluntarily in murder commit a sin that cries out to heaven for vengeance. Oh, Let me just repeat that. Uh, one, uh, one of the Ten Commandments, precisely, unequivocally, which is the Sixth Commandment, forbids direct, direct, and intentional killing. Mm -hmm. It is gravely sinful. Yeah. The murderer and those who cooperate voluntarily in murder commit a sin that cries out to heaven for vengeance. Uh, the blood of Abel cried out for vengeance from the grave. The sixth commandment clearly states, and I quote, Thou, meaning you, yes. all over the world shall not kill. Amen. The Lord God tells us in Ezekiel, the 18th chapter, verses 1 through 3, which says, uh, quoting the King James Version, the word of the Lord came unto me again, saying, What mean ye that ye use this proverb concerning the land of Israel, saying, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. Yes. As I live, Saith the Lord God, you shall not have occasion anymore to use this proverb in Israel. Uh, all souls belong to him. Right. Yeah. Therefore, it is the word, it is the Lord God who gives life. Yes. 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 He gives life. For Genesis, the second chapter, and verse 7 says, And the Lord God formed, F O R M E D, man of the dust of the ground, yes. Yes. and breathed into his nostrils mm -hmm. the breath of life. Yes. And man became a living soul. Amen. All souls are his. Yes. Yes. Who, which he states in Ezekiel, the 18th chapter. Amen. Therefore, man does not give life. And man has no business at all in taking life. Amen. Including his own, mostly. Right. Euthanasia... There is no mercy death. No. No. All life belongs right. in God's hands. Yeah. There are some who was given up to die, yeah. but God brought them back. Yeah. 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 Suicide is the complete opposite of God's holy will. Yeah. Yeah. Suicide is associated with death which is completely the opposite of life. Yeah. 
and meaning God, yes. who is the giver of all life yes. through Jesus, yes. the only begotten Son of God. St. Yes. John, the 10th chapter and verse 10 says, The thief cometh not but for to steal, yes. to kill, yes. and destroy. Right. That's what the devil, he's, that's his ploy. Yes. Jesus says, I am come that mm -hmm. come they might have life yes. and that they might have it more abundantly. Yes. Yes. Now the easy reader version says, a thief comes yes. to steal, mm -hmm. kill, and destroy. But I came to give life. Yes. Suicide is murder. Yes. Yes. And the murderer commits an ungodly act. Yes. An ungodly act is unrighteousness. Yes. And all ungodly and unrighteousness acts of sin that are unforgivable. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. For after death, there is no forgiveness. Right. It's just judgment. Yes. Yes. Uh, Dr. Durst, one of my professors at Golden Gate Baptist Theological Seminary, mm -hmm. while taking a class in his lecture, said that suicide is not directly called sin, but all inferences point toward unrighteousness, which, uh, intention, which intentionally is committing a violation of the sixth commandment. Right. Uh, but but I, I see it a different way. The Bible, the commandment says, thou shall not kill. That's a sin. Amen. But uh, after death, it's the judgment. Right. The argument then raised uh, this question in his class that Samson committed suicide. Did Samson, pardon me, did Samson commit suicide? Was it intentional? that uh, he died, the answer, uh, or firstly, Samson's intentions was resoundingly not to kill himself, but for the vengeance against the enemies of the Lord God, the Philistines, who put out his eyes. Judges for Judges, the 16th chapter and verse 28 through 30 says, uh, And Samson called unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once. O oh God, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistines for my two eyes. God don't uh, support wrong. And the Bible says, and Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood and on which it was born up of the one with his right hand right. and the other with his left. Yeah. And Samson said, let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself with all his might yeah. and the house fell 
upon the lords and upon all the people that were therein. Mm -hmm. So the dead which he slew at his death <coughs> were more than they which he slew in his life. All right. All right. So he slew more at his death right. than doing his life. The easy reader virgin says, Then Samson said a prayer to the Lord. Lord God, remember me. God, please give me strength one more time. Let me do this one thing to punish these Philistines for a ta a tearing out both of my eyes. Then Samson took hold of the two columns in the center of the temple that supported the whole temple. Uh, he braced himself between the two columns. One column was at his right hand side and the other at his left side. Right. Samson said, let me die with these Philistines. Then he pushed as hard as he could. And the temple fell on the rulers and everyone in it. In this way, Samson killed many more Philistines right. when he died than when he was alive. Right. The Lord God does not support any wrong, right. nor does he give, he go against his own holy commandments. Right. Samson's intentions was not to commit suicide. Right. No, 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 no. But to avenge against the enemies of the Lord God, the Philistines and Israel, for his two eyes. Knowing that he would die with the Philistines, Samson's intentions was certainly not suicide. He could have hung himself if that was the case. Right. Or he could have cut open his veins in his wrists if that was the case. Right. Or he could have poisoned himself if that was the case. Right. But none of those qualify. And what he did does not qualify in suicide. Right. But his intentions, which the Lord God supported was to avenge for his two eyes yes. that his enemies and God's enemies right. had put out. Yes. I was teaching in class some many years ago at Hogan High School and I was talking about to the young people hope mm -hmm. in life. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. And as I finish my, uh, I believe every Friday I talk with the young people. Mm -hmm. As I finish my lecture, after class, this tall Caucasian young girl, she was about 15, came to me and she said, Mr. Scott, I was going to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. But after listening to you, I changed my mind. Wow. And I'm going to talk with my mother. Thank you, Lord. I remember standing, listening to uh, Dr. Anderson, as he sat in his office, mm -hmm. talking to his brother. 
his brother had gotten news that a preacher by the name of Anderson had jumped off of the Golden Gate Bridge. And as they were talking, Dr. Anderson said, I'm talking to you, am I? And after he got off the phone, Pastor Anderson said, if you ever hear me jumping off the bridge, you're going to see fingerprints and everything else up there. We find in our lesson tonight the Apostle Paul and Silas had just sung and prayed a miraculous miracle took place where the, the ground shook and chains that they were and stocks fell off. Yes. And the prison doors were open. And right. The jailer rushed in. Yeah. He looked and believed that all the prisoners had uh, escaped. Uh -huh. And as he was about to, because if he was responsible, under the Roman law that if any would escape his life right. for their life. Right. And as he look at him, drawing his sword, his knife out to kill himself. Yeah. There Paul in the dark right. sitting with <laughs> silence. Yeah. The Bible says, cried out, hey! All right. Don't do that. We're crying out to the world today. Hey, don't commit suicide. There's hope. You're just looking in the wrong place. The prisoner, the, the jailer, he took his life. We all here. We all here. Paul says, "Don't do yourself any harm." The church is crying out to the world. Yes. Stop killing yourself. Yes. Stop cutting yourself. Yes. Your life is not yours. God gave it to you. Yes. Your soul got to spend eternity yes. somewhere. Yes. Don't dispatch it into hell. Yes. You got life in Christ. Yes. Paul says, don't do yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Don't do it. Don't do it. Jesus, the master, have his church in the world as lights. Yes, that's right. that's We're still crying out. Yes. The Lord is still crying out to the world. Don't do yourself right. any harm. Right. Don't drink yourself yes. into the thrusts of the liver. Right. Stop doing that. Amen. Yes. Stop roaming the street. Young women just selling your virtue. Yes. Don't kill yourself with disease. Yes. Don't do yourself any harm. Yes. The Lord is still crying out yes. to mankind. Yes. Change your way. Yes. Yes. One thing about the jailer, and that's what the church got to continue to do. Cry out. Amen. Don't do yourself any harm. There's hope in Christ. Yeah, that's right, that's right. There is hope in Christ. Yes. Jailer came through trembling into where Paul was. What shall I do to be saved? He was thinking about self. But Paul gave him greater. The world is looking for a way out. Some are so confused, they don't know which way to go. But give them Jesus. Believe, Paul says, on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's all you got to do. Yeah. You'll be saved. Yeah. You'll have light in your life. Yeah. You'll have hope yeah. for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. The church is still crying. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. 
Yes. This is why we teach. This is why we preach. Yes. This is why we sing. Yes. This is why we come together. Yes. We're still crying out. Yes. Don't do that. Yes. Don't kill yourself. Jesus came to give you more yeah. life abundantly, yeah. Yeah. not death. That's right. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Let me tell you, as Paul put, put it so eloquently in one of his letters, Jesus, yeah. he came to destroy the power of the devil, yeah. which he holds death. Yeah. Right. Jesus broke that. Thank you. 